Hey y'all, it's Angie at Our Contented Home. Welcome back to our channel. Today is day eight of my 12 days of Christmas video series. If you've missed any of my other videos, I'll have a link in the description box for the playlist where you can watch all of my Christmas content and all of the 12 days of Christmas. So I've shared with y'all how much I love mercury glass and how one day I would like to have enough to decorate an entire Christmas tree. I'm not quite there yet, but hopefully soon I will be able to do that and share it with y'all. So in one of my 12 days of Christmas, I made a mercury glass garland. Y'all all love that so much and I appreciate all the comments and the encouragement on that. It means so much to me. And I have a few mercury glass ornaments that I've collected over the years. I just plan to add to that collection. Recently, while scrolling through Instagram, I found this DIY on a page. It's Lindsay Petey's page. And I'll link it below in case you want to go over and check her page and give her a follow. She has lots of fun tutorials and just beautiful pictures on her Instagram feed. So I'll link that below. But she was making DIY mercury glass ornaments and I knew I had to give it a try. So I'm going to show you my version of it and what I added to it to make it my own. And I hope you enjoy. For this DIY, you're going to need clear ornaments. I picked mine up at Hobby Lobby, but you can find these at most any craft store. And then I'm also using a solution of half water, half vinegar in a spray bottle. And then you also need Rust-Oleum Mirror Effects. So this gives your ornaments the look of mercury glass, so you really need the spray paint. And then I'm using metallic brass. And I also have this metallic gold. You need some type of metallic spray paint because this is what's going to show through your ornament. So you can either use gold or silver. I also have some skewers poked into some floral foam and this will help in my drying process. And then you also need your hair dryer to help with the drying process. So to get started, you take your ornament and your mirror effect spray paint and you just spray a couple sprays into your ornament and you just spray until all the sides are coated you just swirl it around making sure all the sides are covered and then you just swirl it around and just pull out your vinegar and water solution and spray it into your ornament and then you'll see the magic happen but you're not finished yet, so just swirl around your vinegar and water solution until you get all the sides coated. You'll have some just floating around in there, and we'll worry about that in a minute. And then you take your hair dryer, and you just dry your ornament. So you don't dry it all the way. You just dry it up a little bit, and this just helps it to have those splotches in it like mercury glass does. And so you'll just do this. Now your ornament will get a little hot, so be careful not to burn your fingers or your hands. And then you just keep swirling around and drying. You, you don't dry it all the way. So you just keep doing this for a few minutes, and then you'll know when it's time to just put it onto your skewer. But I just drain out the excess liquid and then put it on these skewers to drain out all the liquid and to help it dry and then you just do this process to how many ornaments you want to do you just keep doing it leave it to dry and then we will start the next step
this is what your ornaments will look like when you're finished with that step and then you just leave them here to dry and I think I left mine for 30 to 45 minutes I don't think it takes that long for them to dry but while they were drying I ended up taking the ornament tops and putting them in this cup they were a little bit too shiny silver for me so I just took my metallic gold spray paint and I just sprayed them really well with this you could skip this step if you wanted to if you like the color of the tops but I just sprayed them down really good with this spray paint and just coated them a little bit just to make them look a little more antique that was the look I was going for with these ornaments and so you just spray them down and swirl them around get them all coated and then I just dumped them in this box and let them dry. Now the next step when your ornaments are all dry, you take your metallic spray paint and you spray a couple sprays into your ornaments. And then you spray and you turn and then you spray and you turn, spray and turn until all sides are coated. I think you end up turning them four times to get all the sides coated. And you can see if you need to spray any more. So just kind of look at it and see what you like. You could spray more or less. And then I just put them back onto my skewers and let them dry. And then I just did this process to all of my ornaments. I think I ended up making eight total of these. And it goes by really quickly. You just keep spraying and turning and spraying and turning and then putting them down to dry. So while my ornaments are drying, I decided to go one more step with my ornament tops. And so I just took plain white glue, put it into a paper plate, and took my paintbrush and gave the tops of my ornament a really good coat of white glue. Now the metallic spray paint, I liked it, but it was just a base color for this next step. This is completely optional. You can skip this step. But I wanted it to look a little more shiny and fancy. So I showed y'all in my last video about this glass glitter that I love so much. And so I thought that it would be a finishing touch on these ornaments. So I just poured some onto the wet glue of my ornament and just coated it really well. If you've never used this glass glitter, it is fabulous. It's thicker than regular glitter, and so it just has a really beautiful look to it. And so I just coated all my ornament hooks with it. They sell it in silver and gold. I have both colors, but I haven't used the gold yet, but I plan to use that really soon. And so I just did this to all of the tops of my ornaments. A really good coat of glue and then sprinkle on the glitter. And whatever you have left, you can just dump it back into the jar. So just go heavy with it. The heavier it is, the more beautiful it is. It is like crystals. So I just keep doing this process until I have all of my ornament hooks coated and sprinkled with glitter.
And then when I finish with everything, I just turn my plate into a funnel and pour everything back into my jar and you have no waste and you can use that glitter over again. And then you just set your ornament tops aside and just let everything dry well before you add them to your ornaments. So that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you decide to make some of these ornaments, share it with me, leave me a comment, let me know if you plan to do it.